Hi, we're here at the last day of the Flame Conference and I'm joined by David Ledisma, our chair from day one. Hi David, thank you for chairing the event. Thank you very much indeed for inviting me. And um, what were your main takeaways and conclusions from Flame this year? Well, why don't I focus on the conclusions of the LNG Day, which I chaired. And huge change from when we last met in November last year, of course, with the, the tragic events going on in you know, Russia uh, and Ukraine. And that has basically dominated our discussion at the LNG Day. And I think the focus really moved towards security of supply. And it was very interesting. One of our speakers said Europe's gone from being the market of last resort to the market maybe with primary demand. And so I think the, the, the discussions were all dominated by that, but the wider implications of it. Uh, and we had some very interesting interventions from remotely from Taiwan and from Japan. And they really set the message, the concern of the Asian buyers that who rely, of course, on LNG cargoes for a very high percentage of their uh, energy supply. If Europe was to suck in more LNG cargoes, first of all, they may not get the cargoes themselves, but secondly, the price will rise in their markets. That was a major concern. So I think that was, a, that was a one fundamental message that came along. The second one was, with security supply being so important, where does that put the energy transition? Certainly over the next one to two years. Indeed, we've been talking that today uh, on day two of the main flame conference as well. And I think that, that the jury is out on that. But there is a noticeable concern that energy transition maybe gets put to the back burner, certainly in a period when you're prioritizing security of energy. And I think the third thing really that came to me was the need for infrastructure. And what I mean there is new LNG supply sources, uh, new LNG supply plants, which requires billions and billions of dollars in investment. Okay, the demand is there, but under what terms, under what prices, under what contractual terms? And can you raise the finance in a world where lenders maybe aren't willing to make dollars available? for uh, hydrocarbon projects, there's a concern that the, the money may not be there. So that's for the liquefaction projects. On the other side of it, of course, is the regasification terminals in Europe. And there's a very, very clear need for security supply. We know we've seen four FSRUs being chartered by, uh, by Germany. We've seen three regasification terminals being developed in Germany from a, store, from a literally standing start almost in a matter of weeks because of energy security. And so how is that going to be structured? What's the role of governments? Is government going to take too big a role? What's the role of the market? All these questions are being discussed here at Flame and are, and are key to our industry as well. And linked to that is pipelines. So how do pipelines link? How do we get the gas out into the market? So there's a lot going on. There's a huge amount going on and it's a period of change. The key words I've picked up is change, volatility, uncertainty even more so here at Flame uh, in May 2022 versus the previous Flames I've chaired in the past. So yeah, a lot going on.